What's up mates, thank you very much for watching. In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make money and some extra science points. I'm Pim from Bio Gameplay and this is Gerbil Space Program. So we want to make a little bit of money because as you saw in the last tutorial uh, we want a couple of things to upgrade. For example we want the launchpad to upgrade so we can have bigger um, or heavier uh, rockets. Uh, we want to update um, this part, the astronaut complex, so we can perform EVA, so we can get outside of the vehicle want to upgrade the tracking station and uh, mission control so we can have um, flight planning so those are a couple of things we really want to upgrade so how are we gonna get some money well I'm gonna go to mission control the little building here and here we can grab some missions some contracts so you get a list of contracts you can uh, you can do and there are a couple of things that are very difficult to do, some are really easy. For example, the visual surface are pretty difficult because you have to be in flight below a certain uh, height around a certain area and with a ro normal rocket it's almost impossible to do, it's really difficult. It's a lot easier when you have an uh, airplane, but right now we cannot make airplanes. So, a couple of things that are quite easy. Uh, this one is quite doable. You have to test um, a liquid fuel engine in flight at a certain altitude, at a certain speed. That's pretty doable. What's a lot easier to do is these ones. Uh, test something, land it at Kerbin. So this will give us a bit of money and a bit of science points. This gives us a lot of money, so we should only do this really for the science points. Uh, well, the same for this, only this doesn't give us any science point at all, so that sucks. Uh, this one gives us some science points. And this as well. And these are a lot better, or um, testing some stuff while orbiting. Um, the parachutes are also more doable, but then you have to be at specific altitude and speed and then use the parachute, so you would want to do it while you're descending. Same here. But this one, Orbit Kerbin, is amazing. It's, it gives a lot of money, it's a lot of science points and uh, reputation. And it's very easy. We, all we have to do is make orbits uh, higher than 70 kilometers. So we want to accept this contract. And uh, also that contract never expires. Um, and once you um, you accept it, you see deadline never, so that's good. And while we're at it, uh, we have to orbit so we can, at this one as well, test LVT-45 liquid fuel engine. So we get some more money and some science points, so accept this contract. So right now the maximum amount of contracts is two, so that'll, this will have to do. So what we are going to do right now is make a rocket, alright, this is the rocket, uh, uh, I crashed in the beginning of the video. Let's get rid of this. But what we have to do is make a rocket that will orbit with a T45 liquid fuel engine. And also when you click on the note it says to perform the test activate the part through the staging sequence when all test conditions are met. But I have a solution for this. We can just start this whenever we want. Then while we're in orbit we can change up our staging sequences and then activate this again. Oh, let's enlarge this a bit and uh, so we can see it better. Let's see what the engine is. Alright, this is an engine that we have to test. We uh, um, Normally we have to unlock this but because we need to test it out we get one uh, in here. So it's this um, fuel engine is not as fast as the uh, doesn't have the same thrust as the old one, but it's um, more maneuverable, so that's always good to have. So let's um, add a command pod, let's zoom in a bit. 
of course, get a parachute because we don't want poor Jebediah to die. Add a stack decoupler. And we'll make basically the same rocket we made before, only we're going to use this engine. Add two decouplers. Let's see, at the solid fuel boosters. And this will to do it, so we're gonna launch it. I didn't check my staging sequences, so I'm gonna do that right now. First, we're gonna launch the solid boosters, then release it. I'm gonna add this one, same place, so immediately when we release the solid fuel boosters, um, this one is going to burn, so we don't have any uh, time that we can slower velocity. Now release this and do that. So let's go in the air and let's wait until we're higher up. All right, so we're almost at the apoapsis, so let's make a nice orbit here and. You can also look here and you'll see um, um, the um, contracts we have. So you can see that the liquid fuel contract needs us to be at a higher altitude. So we're just going to expand our orbit. Or we're gonna make an orbit. Right there we have it, a small orbit. But it doesn't matter that it's a little bit low. Well, 71 kilometers is high enough. But we got an orbit, so we achieved this um, contract. We uh, we got it, we finished it, so that's awesome. Another thing um, with this contract is we're in orbit around Corbin at an altitude of uh, above 92 kilometers under 10, uh, 100 kilometers. So we did that, but we have to activate the engine right now. But we already activated it. So what we're gonna do? Let's go to staging, and we're gonna change up our stages. So basically, what we're gonna do? We're gonna add another stage. Drag this one there and press space again. And it's just like if we activated it again and it worked. So, right here, you can see we have two um, of the check marks. So, you see we have the test LV2 uh, T45 liquid fuel engine orbiting Kerbin completed. So, we can remove this one and orbit Kerbin. We've done it. So what we got to do now is go down to Earth. So we're gonna go to the apoapsis, lower our periapsis. And let's hope we have enough fuel left. Now let's turn. To turn to retrograde in order to lower the periapsis. Right here. Let's wait a little bit longer because it's most efficient when you're almost exactly at your apoapsis. Uh, let's wait a little bit. Oh, yeah. Come on. Let's do it. Let's time warp a little bit. And right now, we're gonna go exactly here. And we even have a little bit of fuel left. Well, we're gonna land. All right, now our engine is empty, and we're gonna land somewhere here in the grass. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter where we land at all. Uh, most of the time, because once once you're entering atmosphere, you'll get attracted by the gravity. So, probably won't be landing here, but maybe some somewhere here. Because once you enter the, the gravity, your orbit will um, get um, smaller, so it won't be exactly here. But let's just go and land this beast. Let's uh, also 
get rid of our uh, fuel tanks and everything. Uh, as you can see, the orbit is going down, so if we get rid of everything, this will also deorbit and goes into the atmosphere again. So that's not a problem. So let's go and land. So as you can see right now, we're getting some nice effects from entering the atmosphere. It's probably getting really hot. But like always, Jebediah is just sitting there, just relaxing, he doesn't care. But I, I would guess it's getting really hot inside of there. But um, yeah, we're going to fast forward a bit, doing some time warp. Ooh, wobbly. That's because I turned off uh, stability assist. But while you're landing, you don't really need stability assist. And look at Jebediah, so happy. And also, maybe we can do a crew report. Ah, as you can see, we have a great view of the Highlands, so we get 3.5 science. That's always uh, cool to get some extra science. And let's keep on fast forwarding. 6,000 meters, 5,000 meters. So I usually deploy my parachute around 1,000 meters. So it doesn't really matter because it won't open until you're at a certain height. But this is the highlands, so it's probably a lot higher than than the water, so this is not accurately representing at what height we are right now. Also, if you um, use the middle mouse button, you can change where you are, uh, because with the right mouse button you change like your view, and with the middle mouse button you change where you're looking at, or yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but just try it out for yourself. So we're landing, 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 and Jupiter is looking around like, oh, how beautiful. And um, we're almost there. Touchdown. So we're here and we can uh, do an EVA. So let's do an EVA report. Get some science. Store it. Let's go out. And let's do another EVA report and we get some more data and some more science. And now we're gonna recover the vessel. So not only did we get some science and money from um, the contracts, but also some from uh, from uh, just checking out stuff. So we got uh, 21.5 science earned uh, just by... Um, but the crew reports and the EVA reports, so that's, that's quite good. And we got a lot more science from the contract, so in total we now have 67 science, so that's great. Uh, we get some money back from the parts. Jebediah got one experience with defense to level one. That's probably good. I, I don't think it really does a lot right now. Um, I believe you get some more um, options with SAS, maybe, but that could also be due to upgrading of the tracking station, so I don't really know for sure. But now we have 125,000 um, funds, money, and some uh, science points. So let's look at mission control right now and see what other things we can do. And here, explore the moon. Uh, that's a good one to gain a lot of money and science points for. Also, these ones will change over time because you can see there's an expiration date. So after it expires, you will get new ones. So we can probably do this one, but I'm going to save this for another episode. Now... I'm just gonna um, let you do the work, just try it out, get some money, get some science points. And once you get at some more science points and some more money, we're going to explore the moon. The, the, the moon. The, the moon. I don't know. We call it the moon, but in Kerbal language it's moon. We're going to the man, the man, man. You want to get to the man with me? To the man. 
Yeah, okay. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more like this because you don't want to miss the next tutorial. Anyways, guys, I'm going to see you later. And as always, catch you on the flip side. Bye.